Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault, it's Mike here and welcome to another top 10 mocks video. We're gonna be showing top 10 of my favorite mocks from last week that I found to be really awesome on the internet. And also at the end of the episode, we're gonna be showing your fan creations that you guys are sending to our Brick Vault fan mocks email. And before we start guys, make sure to check out our web store at www.brickvault.toys where we offer a lot of awesome creations ranging from Star Wars ships to cars right now. We have just added the Corvette and pretty much we are dedicated to expand our store with awesome creations. So if you want to support our channel and the designers behind those mocks, check it out. I'm sure you will find something you really love from the store. All right, and now let's jump to this first mock. This is UC Koskinen showcasing his very nice, neat little villa. And the first thing I really like about this mock is the small footprint of the building. It's just, I think, 16 by 16 square of space. And in that small area, we have a lot of features packed. First, the design of the building is very modern with a slightly canted roof. And I love the vertical tiling on the sides also, you can see the corners are pretty much rounded. In the back, we have some cobblestone and a nice detailing on the walls, plus a small door and a nice design for the back wall. Interior is packed with details. A lot of things are happening here. I love how cozy it is and how good the space is used. And every single piece of furniture is meticulously detailed, including the kitchen area, the dining area, some lounge, and even the curved stairs always appreciate such mocks and this one seems to be particularly well thought through. That was number 10 and moving up to number 9, we've got something I was really glad to find this week. This is Yoss Bricks coming in with brick heads of Warcraft, Starcraft and other Blizzard characters. This is no secret that I'm a massive Blizzard fan, played Warcraft, Starcraft, all their games including Diablo, love the company absolutely and over the course of the last weeks uh, yos bricks released uh, characters for diablo starcraft warcraft everything is there for example we have karen bloodhuff the tower and chieftain from warcraft also voljin the chieftain from the dark spear tribe he's a jungle troll as i remember We've got the Protoss Zeratul and also Kerrigan, the Queen of Blades from Starcraft, more orcs from the Horde, and also other characters from World of Warcraft like Illidan or Lady Vashi. Diablo 3 has brickheads for Tyrael and even Diablo himself, and pretty much there is an endless amount of characters on his Flickr page, so make sure to go check it out. Moving up to number 8, we have Comeback of the Chubby Bots, one of my favorite micro and midi scale mech builders, and this time we have the Cherno Alpha in chibi small form. And I think the cuteness of this mock is what you need when you deploy a jugger against a possible attack of a cute kaiju. He has cute legs, cute fists, cute face, cute color, everything is cute about this build. And that is what I like about Chubby Boss designs, they just work so well in very different forms. That is what I call a unique mech and just keep them coming Chubby Boss because we do love your designs here at Brick Vault. And let's move to number 7 with the cuteness in mind. This is Lego 7, one of our favorite builders of all time as you may know already. And he has come up with the Ewoks family. Now many of you may argue about the Ewoks, well basically the teddy bears that overthrew the empire. And I agree with statement from brick nerd Tommy Williamson that he's saying that Ewoks are still better than Gungans. I agree. In this small scene you can see the helmet from last week's Stormtrooper that Jack showcased, I think we know where his head is at right now. And don't be fooled, remember Ewoks are a bit savage, because in the first place they were intending to eat Luke and Han, before they helped to defeat the Empire on Endor. Nice touch there with the C-3PO doll and a small build for their Endor village part, and I guess that Wicked and the rest of the Ewok gang never looked cuter. Well, maybe except for the movies when they for example destroyed the ATST with the perfectly placed uh, log trap. I guess the Empire did not see that one coming. Alright, enough with the cuteness of Ewoks, let's move up to number 6. This is Red Fern 1950s and I love his car designs. He came up with a new one, the mock is simply called The Heat and that is a take on the 1950s police cruiser interceptor. The car itself is gorgeous, I love the lines, feels just like from Chicago in the Prohibition era. This car is matching perfectly well with the Art Deco cruiser that he made some time ago. But definitely the highlight for this one is those built characters of policemen with great face expression and even better mob guy with the great face expression with this awesome cigar. And I like the canted hat as well. Awesome stuff, looks excellent especially with the characters. But let's jump to number 5, that is the second mech of the week. This is Marco Marozzi coming in with Carabinari NSA support mecha Mark 8. I recognize Marco for being very talented with the use of parts in his mecha builds. And this one is no different. We have some fine usage of those green parts. Being quite rare in general, but here they make up for this great torso of the mecha. Also some custom stickers on beefy legs. And I like this drawn look of the head with some single viewing point in the middle and barrels on both sides of his head. 
great build for the hands as well and overall an excellent example of a small mecha build with very few parts that makes up for an excellent look closing up to the top spots with number four this is more classic of a build that is Sanel Lukovic coming in with his biker street and that is a massive display we've got this great uh, Nevada or Arizona or maybe even California feel from the 50s with a number of highlight spots there's the diner the shell station even the hot rod garage and the biker bar of course because this is the biker street so many things I can say are my favorite about this mock including the bikes and the whole setting the whole vibe of the of the mock and if you haven't already I highly recommend his Flickr page in the links below because this is not the first time he's making some excellent scene out of Lego so that was an excellent mock to include it this week but number three is another mech and this one is a biased choice because I did like the game a lot this is the Scorch from Titanfall 2 made by Marius Herman and Titanfall is an FPS mech based game in the future Scorch as the name tells you is the mech using mostly fire weaponry so he's uh, handling a massive t203 termite grenade launcher yes i know such details because i did play the game and i recognize this guy and the build itself is simply excellent marius is very experienced in making mechanical builds and anything based on games and i think that is the last of the mechs that he built for titanfall because i think he built them all other notable builds from this designer include amazing mocks from the horizon zero dawn game the corruptor the south tooth and the thunder jaw and also he made a beautiful pelican uh, dropship from Halo 3 which I mentioned some time ago in top 10 mocks as well. And moving up to number 2 we have something completely different. Akiyuki is back, the god of Great Ball Contraption pretty much. And now he has shown the world the Great Ball Contraption railway system. I don't really like to describe those things in detail because I'm not very familiar with how it actually works, but those are probably the most mesmerizing things to watch in the LEGO world. Here you can see the fragments of this operation, but I highly recommend clicking the link below to check out the full video, because the designs from Akiyuki are absolutely insane, and I highly recommend watching them in full. Alright guys, and here is the number one spot for this week, and I think this never gets old. This is one case and his executor class store dreadnought. The flying cursor, the mouse in space, you name it as you want, but the executor was the flagship of the flagships in the Star Wars universe. Too bad it crashed into the Death Star taken out by a single A-Wing. Oh, and he has a demo for that as well, by the way. But for the build itself, I think it's a massive lifetime achievement to create such build. He's not insanely big, but the amount of details and the whole feel of the ship, the accuracy of the look, is something that definitely stands out. Add to that insane uh, quality of photography he took for the model and you have what I consider to be a quite ultimate Star Wars mock. I highly recommend checking out the gallery on his Flickr page because not only we have the executor there, one case is also the author of the beautiful Avenger Imperial Class 2 Star Destroyer, a midi scale Lambda Class T4 shuttle, quite fine 8080 and even the Venator and the smaller Tentive 4. Quite glad I found this designer and I think I'm gonna be following him closely. Alright guys, and that is it for this week's Top 10 Mocks. Thanks so much for watching and now let's roll your fan creations that you guys have sent to our Brick Vault Fan Mocks email. Always appreciate your submissions. Remember to follow the rules that are right below in the description when you're sending your pictures. It just makes our lives easier. And of course, check our web store at www.brickvault.toys if you haven't already. And that is it. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Here are your fan mocks and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.